Sugar. This is the authentic the Thai shit. Spice. It's like prostitution, Eric. You just can't give it up. The money is too good. And everything nice. Yeah. Every once in a while, you want to have your clothes on. That's what today's guest is made of. Supermodel, super sassy, and super chef. Chrissy Teigen puts it all on the table. Hi, Chrissy. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Wow. What am I doing? Is How this many real bags life? Do you have here? <laughs> I did bring some things for you today. Yeah, I see a lot of ingredients that you made at home. I did bring oh, a few things. This is for you, actually. I am gifting this... you this Thai. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> Mortar really? and pasta. But yeah. Is what do you have at home, right? I mean, it's. Yes, this is the authentic the one. Thai shit. Oh, can we? I... Yeah, Sorry. You can see. Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, cool. Wow, you have so many ingredients here. Hold on. I okay. went a bit overboard here. So I have never. I've never been to Thailand and it's one of my dreams. Uh, everybody's talking about Thailand and the street food and all the ingredients. Today she brought a lot of those um, flavors and ingredients uh, that she even made at home. I mean, to make sure that it was uh, loyal to the culture. We're going to open them and see what's going on, but what do you have? Like, Sniff it. Oh, this is spicy. Yes, that is so going to make you hurt. chilies. Yes. And we have... More chilies? Oh no, this one has a fish sauce, right? Yes, good job. Fish so okay. And that one's fishy and hot though, beware. Fishy and hot, okay. I guess that is the thing with Thai cooking is that it, it integrates all kinds of different flavors. You get your sweet, your tart, your spicy, your, I mean, you get all these different elements in the food. Well, now the bag is empty. Everything's here. Yep, what do you uh, think? We're gonna have a good time cooking. We are gonna have a good time. Yeah. It's a lot of fresh. We're gonna make rice. So I greeted Chrissy with a lychee martini. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to start cooking. Let's and, begin. And we're going to have uh, fun. I mean, uh, we have all the ingredients. I think we're I'm set ready. here, right? Are you yeah. nervous no, with I'm all the chilies? Because you, you're the chef. No. This time, I'm the sous chef. I'm executing what you asked me to do. It's been so my live stream it's, it's to easy. boss you around, so. Well, wait, wait. <laughs> listen, the moment has arrived. <laughs> Here we are. I thought, um, I was hoping for you to bring some Thai influence and I'm happy that you did that. My dad is Norwegian, but he yeah. grew up in North Dakota. So I am a little bit North far Dakota. removed from that. So this is all my mom's influence here. With Thai cooking, it's all about something being passed down generation to generation. So when I see my mom cooking some fabulous dish, it's something that I keep in my mind. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to make this for my family growing up. What are we doing? So we're going to boil the water first and yeah. then add just a cup of rice. I usually make a batch a that's double this even. Yes. Um, you add a cup of rice and, and we're just cooking it down so much that the water reduces. And, and, and then we get this thick rice porridge. So we're going to make a congee. Yes. My sister is the one that taught me how to make this Thai joke soup. and because I was too young to remember it. So being able to teach Eric something was awesome. And then you're going to use the pork, I guess. Yeah, so after that, that cooks down, yeah, then yeah. we drop in the pork, and then everything just kind of falls together. So you grew up in Utah. Or I you, was or, born in Utah, but we left very early on. But then I actually did most of my growing up in Washington State. So we lived up on the hill, and it was, I mean, just a very quaint way of life. It was very simple. That's and then I moved nice. to Huntington Beach. And it was... A different world. Oh my god, these girls were hot. It was ridiculous. I think, like, uh, I think catch up no, with them. Let's go, please look up my, my pictures from high school and you will have to differ. So you grew up there and then you, you live in California. It was very different. It's very nice though. Yeah, though, there was a surf beautiful. club. Uh, so did I mean, you, do you surf? I can't swim. You can't swim? No, I'm a social model that cannot swim. You don't want to swim or you can't swim? No, I cannot. Oh, it's because you, you just... I just, I sink like a rock. You can keep your head out of I the, can swim underwater, water. but none of this breaststroke ever. No, so you don't never. swim? No. So from that surf um, shop, how did you end up modeling? Yes. A photographer approached me when I was working one day. At the and, store? Yeah. He was kind of notorious for coming in all the time. And you know photographers, they can be very skeezy. No, right? I Maybe? No, I have no idea. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. You want to lay down and tell like, us no, about they'll it? Be like, they'll be like, uh, you look beautiful, but take your top off. Like, I mean, they, they can be very weird. So mm. I, he came in. I don't find that weird, but. <laughs> 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 it's called instinct. 
<laughs> yes, but okay. with someone that you don't know at all, I mean, it's weird. And especially when I was like 17 or something, 16, 17. I remember I shot with this photographer and my dad came. He was holding the light reflector. My dad is big. My dad's a big white guy, he had a big belly, and he was on the beach barefoot holding the light reflector see, because he was trooper. so scared of this man. He's a trooper. He <laughs> wanted to make sure everything goes fine. Exactly. I think I would do it too. Oh my God, I'd be terrified. You wanted to become a model? No. You had no, no desire no, to do that? No desire. It just had never crossed boiling. my mind. Is this boiling? Can yeah. you put in half a cup there? Okay, half a cup. It doesn't seem like much, but I promise you. Maybe a little more than half a cup. A little more? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Good. So we let it like that. Yes. We don't, we don't have to and stir it. And we just we gotta keep stirring because it'll burn and then we we'll have to ruin stir it, it okay. and then we have to start over and drink more. Okay, that, that, <laughs> that, that could be actually a strategy to stay longer and, and, Oops, and have more fun cooking. <laughs> so you will, you wanted to become a chef because you love I did. food. The dream growing up was to always cook, but for someone as insecure as I am, no. The first shoot I had was this international billabong campaign, which is a surf brand that I used to sell at my surf shop. At that point, my dream was just to do, I remember being like, oh my God, I want to do Maxim. Like that was the dream. And then um, and of course my what? dreams, yeah. <laughs> my dreams slowly rose because, yeah. um, you know, there's things above Maxim. <laughs> so let's go to uh, what I'm supposed to yeah. do here. We have the uh, ground pork here. Yes. And right what, now, what do we put in? Uh, well, we're gonna put the garlic in first, which is all a of this ton garlic? of garlic, all of it, all of all it. All of it. No, you gotta go hard. Okay. <laughs> so when you started to uh, to model, you choose an agency, or an yes. agency choose you. I remember coming to New York. Yeah. And visiting eleven different agencies, and they all said no. They were it, it what never was ended. What's wrong with them? I, I well, first for starters, I came in looking like Tila Tequila. I mean, I had fake contacts, lashes, airbrush makeup, and I was like, why doesn't anyone want me? Was it a disappointment? Oh yeah, that was hard. That's when yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna do this, and I'm gonna move on to something else. But in that meantime, I signed with an agency in Miami. I went to live in a model apartment in Miami, which is six girls in a two bedroom, which might be oh, a dream wow. for some people, but it was know. not one of my own personal <laughs> dreams. This looks perfect. The fashion industry was dictating yeah. that style yeah. um, of, of sticks yeah. uh, on the S runway. Exactly. But I mean, who wants to stick in bed if I, I may? John uh, <laughs> would say the same thing. <laughs> not out, we edit that one. <laughs>